Hi again. Uh, this there's videos a good uh, like a, a manual to these here rag rags. Well, I got a couple more still. The thing is, you know, they are kind of a little complex to deal with. Am I crooked? Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it's the haycroft. That's my video. I listen to that all the time. Um, and uh, you got to kind of know how to deal with them. But once you do, man, they're your friend for life. You, you know, they're just fantastic. So here we go. I got one untied. Yes, I do. I got a rose untied. We'll go with this rose. I have this rose one. Isn't that nice? This one I messed up. This is my very first one I made like this with this here. Uh, technique. There you go. <laughs> Give me a minute, guys. Work with me. Um, you'll have it like this. Now this are your ties, right? The sides, and this is your tail up here. You know, you go around and you'll tie it just like any old headband, or rag, whatever, you know, you put on. And uh, if you don't have enough to make a bow tie, has this got a bow tie in it? Yeah, bow tie. See? Then you just tie it in a knot. You know, it don't matter because it's function more than anything. These nice rags, you know, bow ties like you, they're so nice. But otherwise, just tie a knot in it and it's just fine. And once you get it tied, you know, you'll have a rag like this, this here. Okay, and this is one of my sheet ones. This is one of my first ones. What you'll do is you'll poke, you know, poke your little poof in there. See? Oh, the sun's helping me out. Right, there we go. Oh, it's a reflection in the mirror. Anyway, here you go. Like this, right? Oh, shucks. Let's take advantage of that. There we go. See here? There, right? See? And then you'll put it on your head. Well, let's hear. Oh man, I want to take my iron head hat off. And then, uh, with people with long hair, go ahead with another adjustment, like mine. What I do, and the reason I made these, like I said, was for uh, wearing my hair under a hard hat. You'll twist it up. You'll have your poof. And just throw it on and put it on. See? Okay, now let me adjust. Now, from behind. What you'll do is you'll find your loops, is what I call them, that's the two sides, and you'll pull them out. Just like that, and that'll even up your tail straight up with your head. And then you'll just pull them back, like that. Now it takes a few minutes worth of work to, you know, pull the lumps down out of your head here. And you just pull it and pull it and pull it a little bit. That's what I mean by pulling your tail until it's comfortable. You know, and then you look in the mirror, see if it's working, you know, and then you can, you know, you know, you work with it a little bit. There we go, and you'll pull your knot down like this, right, I got a little old knob in my head right there that these, these, uh, the bow ties under. And there you go, you just keep pulling until it's good and tight, and you'll feel it, man, once you feel it, it's so comfortable. You just keep pulling, pulling, pulling your knot down until... So it feels good. There you go. I, don't know. I still got a lump. See, and then you look at it and you pull it. And then once you get it, and once you get the knack of it, well now your hat fits. See? And that's what I mean by pulling your tail. Tying it's kind of a bitch, but you know, now what I used to do is my hard hat still in here. Oh we'll be darned. Um, what I did was, oh, here it is, right here in your hard hat, because I know you probably have to wear one, let's see, right here, you see your back, this goes to the back of the head, right, it goes to the back of your head, because this is the back of my hard hat, what I did was, I put my ponytail knob, as it were, right in here, and then put this between my ponytail and the knot would go right here. So let's have a look. And uh, I had a problem because the stuff I used to do was way, way up in the air. We're talking, you know, several stories up, and I'm sure you do too. And you'd lean over. If you lean over, that hard hat comes off. Well, guess what? 
you're going down the ladder, down the lift to go get your hard hat again. And you got to come back up. See, there you go. See, and that's how it hooks in. That's how it hooks in. Let me give you a loop. You loop. I can't see what I'm seeing. And uh, when I was wearing this stuff, my hard hat never fell off. And it always stayed on. And see, my bill is in here. You know, voila, if you don't like it, you can always flip your bill up. And off it goes. I'll push my hat down. Now, if your thing goes a little too low, just pull your tail and it pulls your bill back up where you want it. And there you go. Then you take your hard hat, find your ponytail, which you don't have, put it on. Wow, my hat, my, fa <laughs> my head must be getting fat because it don't fit no more. There you go. See, you still have a cap, got your hard hat on, your hair is protected if you got long hair. And I mean, I, it's a godsend. I, I wore them all the time. You know, I didn't wear, never, never go to work without my hard hat or my uh, rag on because I made silica. And what it is is, uh, you know, for grout uh, and stuff, you know, for uh, setting block, cinder block, and use it for pool covering, you know, the pool walls and the pool wall, yeah, pool wall. What else? Stucco. And all kinds of stuff like that sand in, the, uh, in your ashtrays and uh, bunker sands and golf courses. And making glass and all that kind of thing. Let me tell you something about bunker sand. Because I've made several million tons of it in them bunkers that sand every grain every single grain in that bunker sand is the exact same size believe me it is exactly the same size every single grain unless you go whack and at it you know and then you break up the sand a little bit and that's what I did for a long time god I did that for years you know until it busted me up but there it is See, you can wear it. Um, I see you wearing that leather hat. Your hat will actually go over that. I don't have my boonie hat. You know, the one I used to wear, I'd put it right on. And it'd be fine. You know, because you want shade on your ears. Because uh, there was another job I had out at uh, Daisy Gold. The Daisy Gold mine. The Daisy mine up here in the hills. Right? I had, it was called weed abatement. You know, because when you have a, you know, your lot, this and that, you have to keep up the unnatural weeds. And you'd be out there picking weeds all day. And uh, I will be turned if, by God, my ears, they got second degree burns on them from, uh, from the sun. That burnt the ears right off the side of my head. I mean, secondary blisters wiped them out. You know, I had to take care of them myself, you know. So uh, that's when I went, instead of that bill hat, you know, hard hat, I went to my all around. Because the sun out here will burn you, it's like just like any kind of fire or boiling water, and uh, it blistered my ears right up inside on the side back. God Almighty! So that's when I went to these, and uh, you know this is just brutal on your head. And if you got one of these sweatbands, you know they get stinky as hell. I mean they get smelly. So now I use these just like a pillow on a pillowcase, a pillowcase on a pillow, you can take it off and wash it and be fresh as a daisy all the time. That's why I say, you know, I sent you a lot of them because you can wear them just like socks and, you know, and shirts. You don't have to wear one all the time because they get nasty, just like anything, just like any you know, clothing, piece of clothing. And those hats, you know, redneck hats, you know, I, I wear them, you know, well, no, I don't. Um, after a while, you can't wear them, you know. You, you sit there, and one day, I think I, I said, what the hell was that smell, man? You know, I had my favorite, oh, I had all the, yeehaw. And, uh, you know, and I'm like, like, oh, man, this hat smells. And you can't wash them, you know. You, they're foam and cardboard bill. You can't wash them. They just destroys them. And if they're your favorite hat, you got your best logo or your company name on them. But they're smelly. You can't wear them. They're stinking, and they'll make your head break out. You know, you'll break out in a rash from being all like that. So that's why I made these rags. You know, for me, out in the dam, when I was mining. See, watch. Voila. 
and there it is. Find the holes, pull my loops, pull down, pull the knot and the bill. There it is. I'm going to do this. See? Now this one might look a little goofy because the tail is a little shorter than usual. Right? And uh, there you go. That's why I made them. See? I got my tail on and my knot down. Get my hat on, fish it, put it on, and uh, it works for welding masks too. You know, I because I welded, I got plenty because I had to construct that stuff. The mine, you know, conveyors, crushers, uh, silos. I had to erect silos, 14 by 100 silos, all kind of, you know. And man alive, this, you know, this rag was it. And you can take it off, you know. And, you're like, oh man, like this. You can dip it in water, you know, and get it wet and it'll keep you cool out there. Because I'm telling you, I've dealt with, you know, 120, 125 degree heat out there. You get that wet and this tail will uh, stay wet and then it'll go on your back and it'll boil, oh, man. It's a difference, like night and day. It's the difference when you're wearing a rag rag that's wet in the heat as to not. So. There you go, see, you just sweep, pull your knot down, find your loops and pull, pull your tail down, your knot, straight back, and it's on. But I can't see. Whoa! Oh, man. And there it is. That's how these operate. See, now my, my hair's in there, it ain't getting all cut up or beat up by sand, wind, rain, sun. Motorcycle helmets is the same thing, but I don't know if this here knot would go into a motorcycle helmet. You'd have to tail, you know, well, I, this is what I call a high tail. That's why I wear my hair in a high tail most of the time. Because, uh, you know, I put it under my hat 99% of the time because I just don't want to, like, I don't share my hair with very many folks, people. I'll tell you that right now. It's a very, very personal issue with me. I grow my hair for a very personal reason. It's in memorial for my oldest brother that got killed in a car accident. And, uh, you know, he wanted to grow his hair long. And by God, life just did not treat that man well. And he could never, you know, get enough, I don't know, not enough time. But, you know, he couldn't get a time where someone would have to leave him alone to where he could grow it and that kind of thing. So I put my hair up most times, and that's another reason why I built these hats. And uh, that explains that. And that was a big video. All right, so there it goes. That's how rag rags work. Hi, son. Hello. Hi, Nini. Say hello. Say hello to Ironhead. Get your face in there. Hi, how are you? <laughs> anyway, all right, so there you go. I hope you enjoy your hats. And... Uh, Tell everybody about them, because by God, I need to sell them more of them, and they're, they're handy, they work, they're good to go. All right, live by your wits, not by your worries. Peace! Bye. Oops, where's the button?